Hello. In this video, I show you how to perform direct VM recovery from tape using Nikivo backup and replication. The direct recovery from tape feature allows you to recover VMware vSphere, Microsoft Hyper-V and Nutanix AHV VMs, as well as Amazon EC2 instances, to your infrastructure directly from tape-based backups. Before you start, ensure you have a backup copy already stored on your tape drive. Here's the original backup job to the onboard repository and the backup copy job to tape. There are two ways to start the recovery process. The first method, open settings. Click tape. Then switch to the tapes tab. Select the tape cartridge that contains your backup copy. Hover over the job you want to use for recovery, click the three dots on the right, then click recover. The second way is directly from the jobs dashboard. Simply select the backup copy job from the list of jobs, Click Recover and select VM Recovery from Backup. In the left pane of the Backups tab, select the backup copy containing the VM you want to recover. You can also switch to the tape view to locate the backup copy more easily. Select a recovery point from the right pane and click Next to proceed. On the Destination tab, choose where to recover the VM. You can either recover to an existing repository or to new VMs. If you choose to recover to a backup repository, Choose the appropriate repository from the container drop-down menu. If you prefer to recover to new VMs, choose the target cluster, host, or resource pool from the container drop-down list. Then, select the target data store and network. Optionally, specify a target VM folder if available in the selected container. Click Next to proceed. Enter a name for the job and configure the job options as needed. The Recovered VM Names option allows you to rename the recovered VM to distinguish it from the source VM. From the VM Disks drop-down list, you can create disks that respect the original VM disk type on the target VM or create only thin disks. You can also choose whether to generate a new MAC address for the recovered VM or use the same address as the source VM. Moreover, you can specify whether you want to power on the recovered VM after the recovery. Additional pre- and post-job actions and data transfer options are available as well. Click Finish and Run and specify your job run preferences to save your changes and start the recovery. The job is completed successfully, and the selected VM has been recovered to the target destination directly from tape storage. And that concludes our how to video. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, click the like button, and subscribe to our channel to catch new uploads. You can also download a free trial version of Nikivo Backup and Replication using the link in the description and try the solution in your own environment for 15 days.